Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Dissertation in 90 Days. I'm your host, Dr. J, and today we're diving into a topic close to my heart and essential for all of you to begin this doctoral journey. We're talking about the role of mentorship in doctoral success. Now let's get personal for a moment. Picture this. I'm in my office, surrounded by stacks of books, papers scattered everywhere, and a coffee cup that's been refilled more times than I care to admit. It's late, I'm tired, my dissertation is staring back at me, and it feels like it's mocking me. Sound familiar? But here's the thing. In that moment of overwhelming challenge, I received a simple email from my mentor. It read, you're on the right track, let's chat tomorrow. Just that, simple, yet it changed everything. You see, that's the power of mentorship. It's not just about guidance. It's about those moments when someone steps in with the right words at the right time. It's about building a relationship that carries you through the ups and downs of this intense academic journey. So as we explore this crucial topic together, remember, you're not alone. Mentorship can be your lifeline, just like it was for me. All right, let's dive right in. When we talk about mentorship in the world of doctoral studies, What exactly are we referring to? In simple terms, mentorship is that guiding hand, the experienced voice that not only leads you through the academic maze, but also supports you emotionally and professionally. It's much more than just academic advice. It's a holistic support system. Now you might be wondering, isn't that what academic advisors are for? Well, not quite. Think of it this way. Your academic advisor is like a roadmap, laying out the paths you can take the requirements you need to meet. They're crucial, no doubt about it. But a mentor, they're the seasoned traveler who has walked those paths. They offer wisdom that goes beyond the map, insights into navigating challenges, balancing life and study, and sometimes just the right words of encouragement when you need them most. Let's look at some numbers to really understand the impact of mentorship. Research shows that doctoral students with active, involved mentors are more likely to complete their programs and report higher satisfaction with their doctoral experience. In fact, a study found that students with mentors were 23% more likely to finish their dissertation. That's huge. So, I want you to think for a moment. If you're currently in a doctoral program, do you have a mentor? If you do, how has this relationship helped you? If you don't, can you imagine how having one might change your doctoral journey? Just something to ponder as we unpack this topic further. Finding the right mentor is like finding a key that unlocks your full potential during your doctoral journey. What should you look for in a mentor? Well, it's not just about academic brilliance. You need someone who is approachable, empathetic, and has a genuine interest in mentoring. They should understand your research area, of course, but also be someone who can challenge you and push you to explore new perspectives. How about their communication style? It's crucial. You need someone who can give constructive feedback, not just criticism, and they should be accessible. You don't want a mentor who's always too busy for you. Remember, it's about building a relationship that supports your growth. Now, approaching potential mentors might feel daunting. Here's a tip. Reach out with a well-crafted email. Briefly introduce yourself, your research interests, and why you think they would be a great mentor. Be specific. Mention any of their work that has influenced you. Show them that this isn't just a random request, but a thought-out decision. And don't get discouraged if the first person you approach isn't available or isn't the right fit. Finding the right mentor can be a process, but it's worth the effort. Think about compatibility in working styles, values, and expectations. It's almost like a professional friendship. It has to work for both of you. Let's talk about a real success story. I knew a student, Alex, who was passionate but struggling with direction in his research. He connected with a mentor who not only guided him academically, but also helped him network with other professionals in the field. This mentorship didn't just help him refine his dissertation, 
it opened doors for his career post PhD. So to all our listeners, I encourage you to take a moment right now. Think about the kind of mentor who could really make a difference in your doctoral journey. What qualities are most important to you? Is it their expertise, their approachability, their ability to inspire? Write these down. It's the first step in seeking out the mentor who can help transform your doctoral experience. Now that we've talked about finding the right mentor, let's dive into how to nurture that relationship. It's not just about having a mentor. It's about making the most of that relationship. First off, communication is key. Establish regular check-ins. These could be monthly meetings or bi-weekly emails. The idea is to keep the lines of communication open. And it's not just about progress updates. Share your challenges, your successes, even your doubts. A good mentor-mentee relationship thrives on honesty and openness. Goal setting is another important aspect. In one of your initial meetings, sit down and outline what you both expect from this relationship. What are your academic goals? What kind of support do you need? Having clear shared goals can guide your interactions and help you both stay on track. Now let's talk about common challenges. Miscommunication can happen. Maybe you feel like you're not getting the support you need, or perhaps your mentor seems too critical. Here's what you can do. Address it directly, but respectfully. Remember, your mentor is there to help, but they're not mind readers. Open, honest conversations can solve most misunderstandings. Another challenge can be differing expectations. Maybe your mentor expects more independence than you're ready for, or you expect more hands-on guidance. Again, communication is crucial. Discuss these expectations early on to avoid frustration later. Here's a mini activity for you. After this podcast, take a few minutes to list down three key goals you want to achieve in your mentor-mentee relationship. Next to each goal, write down one communication strategy that could help you achieve it. This simple exercise can give you a clear roadmap for your interactions with your mentor. Remember, a successful mentor-mentee relationship can be one of the most rewarding aspects of your doctoral journey. It's about growing, learning, and building a connection that can last a lifetime. Now, let's discussion. Leveraging mentorship for dissertation success. Your mentor can be an invaluable asset at every stage of your dissertation journey. Let's break this down. In the early stages, when you're choosing a topic, your mentor can help you refine your ideas. They bring a wealth of knowledge and can guide you towards a topic that's both interesting and feasible. It's like having a compass in hand when you're charting unknown territories. As you dive into research, a mentor can provide insights on methodology, sources, and even help you avoid common pitfalls. They've been there, done that. Their experience can save you time and energy, steering you clear of dead ends. When it comes to writing, mentors can review your work, offering feedback that's both constructive and insightful. They can help you clarify your arguments, improve your writing style, and ensure your dissertation is coherent and compelling. But their role isn't just academic, it's emotional too. The dissertation journey can be a roller coaster of emotions. Your mentor can be a sounding board, a voice of reason, or just someone to vent to when things get tough. Now let's talk about professional support. Your mentor can open doors for you in the academic world. They can help with networking, recommend you for conferences, or guide you towards publishing opportunities. This is invaluable as you step into your professional career. So how do you actively incorporate mentorship into your dissertation journey? Start with clear communication. Discuss your dissertation plan with your mentor. Set regular meetings to discuss progress, challenges, and next steps. Be open to feedback, even when it's tough to hear. And most importantly, be proactive. Your mentor can guide you, but the journey is yours to make. Here's a practical action item. After this podcast, sit down and draft a mentorship action plan. What aspects of your dissertation do you need most help with? When will you schedule your regular check-ins? What are your expectations from these meetings? Having this plan will help you make the most out of your mentorship. Remember, a good mentor can be a catalyst for your success. Utilize their experience, wisdom, and support to power through your dissertation journey. As we wrap up today's episode, let's quickly recap the key points. We started by understanding what mentorship in doctoral programs really means. It's more than guidance. 
It's a journey with someone who has walked the path before. We discussed finding the right mentor, focusing on qualities like approachability, empathy, and a genuine interest in your success. Then we moved into nurturing that mentor-mentee relationship. We talked about the importance of communication, setting goals, and how to address common challenges. Remember, it's a two-way street. Be open and honest in your interactions. In the last segment, we explored leveraging mentorship for dissertation success. Your mentor can help you in every stage of the dissertation, from topic selection to research, writing, and even professional development. Now let me leave you with this thought. In the words of great leaders, the journey you're on is not just about academic achievement. It's about personal growth, resilience, and making an impact. Mentorship can be a powerful tool in this journey. So I encourage you, actively seek out a mentor. Let them help you unlock your full potential. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Before we go, I want to direct you to an incredible resource. If you're looking to accelerate your dissertation journey, check out the playbook, How to Get Your Dissertation Approved in Six Months or Less, by Dr. Anthony Robinson. He completed not one but two dissertations in just six months. You can download this playbook at writerser.com slash playbook. It's packed with strategies, tips, and insights that could be a game changer for you. Once again, thank you for joining me on Dissertation in 90 Days. Until next time, keep pushing forward. Your doctoral journey is not just a path to a degree. It's a path to discovering your best self.